the score to 144 for four. Then a double blow. Saklane won an appeal for a catch at short leg against Jai Wadina, and soon after, Ranatunga was struck on the hand by a lifter from Waka. The former captain was forced from the field, leaving Sri Lanka more than 70 short and the tail exposed. Pakistani hopes were further encouraged when Vaas and Kalawitarana failed to agree on a run and the left-hander was stranded mid-pitch, 152 for six. Kalu himself was living on borrowed time, surviving a close shout for LBW from Sack Lane and then being missed by Wacker at mid-on. With just 43 needed, Razak made another double breakthrough for Pakistan, dismissing the left-handed Zoiza to a good slip catch from Wasti and then bowling Whit Ramasinghe first ball. Suddenly Pakistan were clear favourites, but the reappearance of Rana Tunga was a relief to Sri Lankan supporters. The old warrior was in obvious pain, struggling to keep his bottom hand on the bat, but he was quick to seize on any opportunities to score behind the wicket. As is often the case with Rana Tunga, the running was a real liability. Both batsmen rode their luck as poor throws betrayed the fielder's anxiety. Out of the blue, Ranatunga unleashed a glorious square drive off Waka, which brought the winning post in sight, although a pinch single almost spelt the end for Kalu straight afterwards. Could be a run out here. Kalu with the runner, very, very late in taking off. The return is wide. Moments later, it was all over. A square cut off Waka brought the target down to four, and next ball, Kalu's drive squirted safely wide of slip and beyond the despairing third man fielder. So Sri Lanka had squeezed home by two wickets. The two batsmen hugged in the middle, although for the heroic Ranatunga, his series was over. A compound fracture to the thumb, certain to sideline him for several weeks. Pakistan welcomed.